We're in Tanzania. <laughs> it still hasn't hit me. hour flight, had a five hour flight, about to hop on an eight hour bus ride. So we just arrived in Makinga at the church. Uh, we're unloading all of our gear. We're about to start camping today. We're gonna be here for four days. We're in a rural village in Magodi right now. We're with the Tanzanian people. We have about 18 people from Rocky Peak. We're camping with the villagers. This is real teamwork out here. We're gonna finish setting this up and then head out on our first day of evangelism, missions work. Can't wait to get started, it's gonna be awesome. So we came here to spread the gospel to as many people as possible. And so that's what we're doing. We have stories that tell basically the entire gospel story of the Bible. Most of the people that we're meeting with either don't have any idea about Jesus Christ or if they do, it's from the Muslim perspective. So we are definitely moving the front line of the battle for the kingdom of Christ here and breaking new ground. We've had success really leaving an impression of love with these people that are looking for hope. God is on our side and he is moving and he has been moving and he has been preparing this harvest. So I just want us to continue in that same spirit of how seriously we took the prep. God reminded me in my weakness, he will show his strength. This is really God's work and I am just a vessel or an instrument. God is our creator. As a former Muslim, I can definitely relate to these people because I remember what it was like to believe in the notion of a God, but to be diametrically disconnected from Him. There is a spark in their eyes when we have a conversation, and when I tell them I was a former Muslim, they're constantly surprised because they want to know what changed. We come bearing the greatest gift of Jesus Christ, and it allows them to overcome and have hope to get through this life, no matter how hard that can get at times. He stepped into my life when I wasn't even looking for him. In the evening, we show the Jesus movie. We have testimonies and some more sharing and, and altar calls for people to give their life to Christ. Would anybody tonight like to declare faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And if you raise your hand, I'm happy to lead you in prayer. Amen. I remember there is this Christian saint that said, the glory of God is man fully alive. And I just see these people fully alive. We've been very blessed to have favor with the elders and the local leaders. It went from no one is a Christian and no one is really feeling comfortable to talk about it. Now we have people openly saying they're Christians and I'm walking around and conversing with each other in the city streets. This trip has been a test of will, patience, energy for a lot of our team members. But the fact that we still get up every day, work 12 to 14 hours doing the mission work, that is definitely God's hand at work. We're about to baptize some of the Digo people, and so we have this amazing hole dug in the ground. My prayer is that we would reap a hundredfold here, that the people would receive the word of God in fertile hearts. We want to plant the seeds so that they grow into trees and bear fruit, not just while we're here, but while we're gone, and that the cares of the world wouldn't interfere, persecution wouldn't interfere, and that they would bear a harvest of righteousness and glory for God.